G'day legends, PokeGus back with another YouTube video and today is a very, very special video. We have a express post from Truck Collective and yes, this is my CGC Diamond Subs. So let's get into it. All right legends, we've unboxed it and I am super excited. We have four cards in this submission here and I'm very, very excited. I do know the grades for these cards. Um, I just wanted to show you guys because I thought it would be a cool little video to do. Um, shout out to Tra Collective once again. Three month sub return. These guys are absolute legends. And let's start it off with this one right here. First card from our diamond submission that we have received is a light Dragonite Holographic 8.5. Now guys, this is my first time seeing these CGC slabs in person. And I can say they look absolutely amazing. So let's have a look at what we've got here. And wow, these are interesting grades. So we have an 8.5 for centering, which I can see a little bit top is a little bit skinnier than the bottom on the front here. Let's have a look at the back. Yeah, same on the back. A little bit skinnier on the top than it is on the bottom. But I don't know if that deserves an 8.5. I'm going to be completely honest. I think that deserves maybe a 9 um, at worst there. Um, a surface for an 8.5. Wow, I that's on the case. Wow, I really don't see too much wrong with this. I think there's a little scratch on the hollow. It's too hard to make out in this lighting, but I'm pretty certain there is a scratch. What about the back here? It's all just in the case that you guys can see. Fairly mint, guys. Honestly, that's a bit stiff too. I think that deserves a nine. Corners, 9.5. Tiny little whitening up on this corner. Tiny, tiny speck. But that is a great grade for that. 9.5, we like those. What about the edges here? Yeah, edges, very, very good too. But you can see here, guys, an 8.5 for centering, 8.5 for surface, but two 9.5s for corners and edges, and the overall grade is only an 8.5. Hmm. Very interesting card. Probably deserve the nine, but we're gonna chuck that in the back. Right there. Not a terrible start, guys. Can't really complain with that. Second one here, guys, we have, wow. This one, I'm very excited to show you guys. We have a Shiny Charizard VMAX in a 9.5. Let's get that focus. There we go. Shiny Charizard VMAX in a 9.5. I pulled this card, very first pack of Shiny Fates ever, and it got a Gem Mint 9.5. Have a look at that, guys. Centering, 9.5. Yeah, look. Thought it was pretty perfect, and maybe just a fraction from the bottom to top maybe, or top top to left maybe a little bit thicker on the top. But wow, what a beautiful card. We have a 9.5 on the surface, 10 on the corners, so a pristine corners card, and a 9.5 on the edges. So a very strong 9.5 Gen Mint from CGC. Absolutely ecstatic about that, guys. All right, guys, our third slab that we sent in to get diamond graded is none other than this Lugia GX Rainbow Rare from Lost Thunder. And this bad boy is obviously going to be staying in my Lugia collection for a long time. And it scored a 9 overall, a mint 9, so a great grade for this card. Centering was a 9. Yeah... A little bit off on the right side as you might be able to see that little thick silver border compared to the other side that line sort of right in the middle of the side so 
Yeah, centering a nine on the front. What about the back? Yeah, a little bit off from the top to the left-hand side. A little bit thicker on top, unfortunately. But a 9 is a solid grade for this card, no doubt about it. Surface a 9. I really couldn't see any scratches on this, so I'm very surprised that that gets a 9. Corners, yeah, there was a little whitening up on this top corner, as you might be able to see there. A little bit of whitening, so probably a fair grade there. And the edges get a 9.5, which is a fair grade. Our last, but definitely not least card that we have is another Lugia that I sent in, and I purchased this card off the website, um, and I am very happy with the grade that it has received. A 8.5 for this Neo-Japanese Lugia. Have a look at this beast. Now this card was advertised as a near mint card. And it was actually, I bought the Light Dragonite and the Lugia on the same day from the same page. Um, the Dragonite, it was claimed to be a mint card, um, but it has actually scored the same grade as the near mint Lugia. So very interesting here. Obviously this is, an 8.5, but as you can see, centering is a 9. Surface, 8.5. There was a few little hollow scratches on it right there. You might be able to see. Um, and corners, 8.5. Tiny little bits of whitening down the bottom, up the top. And an edges, 8.5 as well. So overall, I'm very happy with this grade. I didn't expect anything higher than a, an 8.5, to be completely honest with you. Um, honestly thought this might grade an 8, so 0.5 above what I expected, and I'm very, very happy with that. So that does it for the CGC Diamond Grades. I do have one more thing I want to show you guys, and it is another Lugia that I have not yet got in my collection, that I have now got in my collection, but it is none other than the Lugia... GX Full Art from Lost Thunder and it is a perfect time to show it off because it actually is the exact same artwork as this Rainbow Rare Lugia right here and you can see guys this card is in very good condition as well and will be getting graded at some point by CGC so you can have a look there very good surface no scratches whatsoever centering Probably a nine, a little bit off. You can see on the right side, a thicker silver border. And then on the left side, a very small border as well as the top to the bottom. So centering is off on this card. Uh, on the back as well, bottom is a lot thicker than the top, but there is no whitening and no scratches on it. So I expect this to be a near, wait, was that a little scratch on it just there? Was that on this sleeve? No, that was just on the sleeve. So I expect this to get probably a nine, another mint nine, if I'm honest. Um, and this was a great pickup for me. Bought this quite cheap, so that'll look very nice in a CGC slab. All right, guys, if you liked today's video and you enjoyed the CGC returns, let me know if you want to see any more of these videos. I would love to hear from you guys, and obviously I was ex super ecstatic to get these uh, slabs back, and I have got some more sent off as well, so I should be getting more coming in in the coming months, and uh, I really look forward to that. If you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you hit the like button, always helps me out, and also comment and subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah guys, I'll see you all in the next YouTube video. Cheers.